In this lesson, we are writing equations of lines and we're talking about inverse functions. Now this inverse functions thing is going to be something completely new and fresh. And uh, it's something that we usually tackle towards the end of the year. But I'm going to put it right up here at the beginning so that uh, when we see it later in the year, it'll be that much easier to understand. All right, so our objectives. Number one, write the equation of a line given a slope and a y-intercept. That's the easiest way to do it. Number uh, still on that same one, how about a slope and a point? Eh, a little bit harder. Or maybe I just give you two points, write the equation of that line. That's probably the toughest one, and even that's not that tough. Okay, objective two, to be able to define this thing called the inverse of a function. We've talked about inverse um, operations before in this class and in another class, like the inverse of adding is subtracting and so on, but now we're talking about an actual function and finding its inverse. And number three, to actually find an inverse of a linear function. Just these lines, the ones that we're writing the equations for. Okay, so objective one here, uh, being able to write the equation of a line given a couple of different conditions, like a slope and a y-intercept, uh, a slope and a point, or a slope and, no, just two points. And here, of course, we have a scene from the original Star Wars, A New Hope, where Obi-Wan is sacrificing himself for the good of the team so they can escape the Death Star anyway. So here's our first exercise. A line has a slope of negative 3 and a y-intercept of 0, 5. Write the equation of the line. So as we've talked about before, the equation of the line can be simply written as y equals mx plus b. We already have our m, our slope is negative 3, and uh, our b here is the y-intercept, which is 5. All right, so just plug in your numbers. y is equal to negative 3x plus 5, and that's it. It's done. Okay. Maybe a little bit tougher, just a little bit. Line has a slope of a half and contains the point 8, negative 9. Okay, so sure, I can still use that same form of y equals mx plus b, but this time I don't have a b. All I have is the m. To find the b, I'm going to have to substitute the point 8, negative 9 into my equation and then solve for it. Well, that's the first way I'm going to do it anyway. So, I'm going to write y is equal to 1 half x plus b. Now we're going to take that point, 8, negative 9, and stick it into the equation and solve that sucker for b. So, negative 9 goes in for y equals a half times 8 plus b. And simplify here, so a half of 8, 4 plus b. Subtract over the, uh, the 4 and I have negative 13. Okay, don't just leave your equation like this. Don't leave it for me to assemble. You assemble it yourself. Put this b back into the equation there. y equals 1 half x minus 13. There's the equation. Okay, we're going to come back and look at that again in just a second after we talk about the point slope form of a line. So if you have a slope and a point, you could use y equals mx plus b, which is we which is what we just did, or alternatively, you could use the point slope form of the line, which looks like this. So you have a point x1, y1, that's just the coordinates of the points, and a slope m, it will go through this equation, y minus y1 equals x time, or equals m, the slope, times x minus x1, and the y and the x without the subscript, those are the variables, the y1 and the x1, those are the numbers that you're given in the problem. And I will say that if you write your equation in slope-intercept form, unless the question says so, you don't have to change it to anything else. You can leave it in point-slope form because that's the form that is a perfectly valid form of an equation. So let me switch colors right here. How about blue? That'll look nice. That'll look real nice against the green. Um, and let's write y minus y1 is equal to the slope times x minus x1. Okay, and now just plug in the information. 
y minus a negative, which is going to be plus 9, is equal to my slope, which is a half, times x minus 8. And I could leave my equation exactly like that. It would be perfectly acceptable unless the instructions say write it in slope-intercept form. So just to compare it, make sure it's the same thing as what we got before, let's go ahead and put it in that form. So I'll have to distribute here a half x minus 4, subtract the 9 over, and of course I get y is equal to a half x. Uh, that looks like I was about to write a set of parentheses, because maybe I was. A half x minus 13. There we go. And uh, well, look at that. It's exactly the same. Okay. So, uh, this is the point slope form of the equation. Let's go ahead and solve it for m, and then there's a follow up question here it has to do with that. Pull up the pen again. So, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if I'm going to solve this for m, I'm not going to distribute m through the parentheses because then it's going to give me two m's. I just need to get rid of the stuff around the m, which is what's being multiplied by, which is x minus x1. So if I divide both sides by that, x minus x1, those will of course will cancel. And let me just kind of switch this around. And I would have m, the slope, is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. What does that look like? That's the second part of the question. What does that look like? Well, that looks like the slope formula. Slope. That's interesting. OK, write an equation of a line that passes through the point 8, negative 1 and has a slope of negative 3 fifths. This is a problem that I want you to do on your own. So pause the video, you come up with the answer, and then come back and check to see if it's right. So I'm wondering if you did as much work as I did. Take a look. OK. So since it said write an equation of the line, you could have written it in any form that you wanted to. So if you chose to do it in point slope form, after you put it in that form, you were done. If you chose to put it into slope intercept form, then you take the point slope form, distribute the slope, the negative 3 fifths through the parentheses, and then subtract the 1 over. Okay, if you chose to put it in standard form, or if the question asked you to put it in standard form, uh, remember that when we learned about standard form, we talked about it last lesson, we said that the A, the B, and the C are usually taken to be integers. So we've got to get rid of all the fractions. So I multiplied everything by 5 to get rid of all the fractions, and then get the X and the Y onto the uh, left hand side, we get 3x plus 5y equals 19. Now notice that in the standard form, it makes it very easy for you to check to see if you have the right answer. All you gotta do is plug in your two points there, the eight, excuse me, the eight negative one. So three times eight, that would be 24, 24, and five times negative one minus five, 24 minus five, definitely 19 checks out. You know you did it right. Okay, so on this one, we want to write the equation of the line. We have the graph. We have an actual picture. Should be a breeze, right? We just need a slope and a y-intercept, right? Oh, oh, look at this. The y-intercept, not exactly on a grid mark. Not real sure where it's at, the exact coordinates, and we don't want to guess. So let's use a point that we know is on there. How about that one? We got 5, 0, definitely on the line on grid marks. And, oh, look at this. I've got another one right here. And I can use those two points to calculate my slope. I don't have to use the slope formula. i got a picture. I can just count my rise over my run. Up 1, 2, so I'll rise at 2. And then left 1, 2, 3, 3. So my slope is 2 over negative 3, really, since I went to the left. So here's my slope, negative 2 thirds. OK, so now let's write that thing in um, point slope form to start off with. Y, we're going to use that point that we found, 5, 0. Y minus 0 is equal to negative 2 thirds for my slope times x minus 5. I'd be done if I was just writing it in point slope form. Uh, let's go ahead and write it in slope intercept form. 
distribute the slope. So y is equal to negative 2 thirds x, mm, no, plus 10 thirds. Hey, does that number look like 10 thirds? Uh, that's 3 and a third, kind of. All right, and then if I'm going to put this thing in standard form, let's multiply everything by 3 to get rid of the fractions. 3y is equal to negative 2x plus distribute here, oh, uh, uh, 10, yeah, there we go. And then just add the 2x over, so 2x plus 3y is equal to 10. And there you go, there you have it.